Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. How are you guys doing today? Well, I wanted to do something different over here today, but also kind of like old school to when I first started this channel. So I wanted to do a come shopping with me video and I was like driving around. I did my vlog this morning because I got up super early today and um, I got a full night's rest last night. I feel very rested and awake today. So I just did my crumble cookies review and then I was like, oh, I should uh, go actually buy some healthy food. So um, I was getting ready to go to fresh time and I was like, I kind of want like a fresh juice or something, you know, for breakfast. So I was like, I'm gonna go into fresh time. Now, if you guys don't know what fresh time is, you're about to find out, but fresh time is, um, a grocery store, kind of like Whole Foods, kind of like Trader Joe's, but really not as expensive. And I have to say, like, you know, they call Whole Foods Whole Paycheck. <laughs> if you've never heard that before, they, they say that Whole Foods is, like, it's so expensive, you guys. Whole Foods is so expensive. I used to go there when, like, years ago I was a vegetarian for a while. I'm a vegetarian again, but I was a vegetarian for a while and I would go there every day and I would get food in the, the deli. I would get like orzo salad and I would get like an egg salad sandwich and all this kind of stuff. And like my entire meal that I would take home would be like $30. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, which doesn't sound like a lot for one meal, but when you're eating, you know, two to three times a day. So fresh time has a lot of the same things. Um, but it's not expensive and I just think it's kind of like more of a uh, Like a, a fun store um, it, it, it looks like a farmhouse when you walk into it and um, so anyway you guys want to see I'm gonna show you around fresh time I'm gonna buy a juice and I'll come back and I'll show you uh, What I bought and I'll tell you about it as well This is also the place that I fell in love with mango because um, I was just talking about this on my vlog a couple, uh, couple nights ago that I um, years ago I don't know how many years ago it would have been now four five six I did a um, raw foods diet for like 20 some days during the month of November leading up to Thanksgiving and you know you could eat as much fruit and vegetables in a day that you wanted to and I started getting mango from fresh time like fresh cut mango and I like fell in love and a little trick I don't I didn't do this back then but when I was doing the raw foods diet but if have you ever put salt on mango I grew up with my mom putting salt, like she would eat an apple and she would put salt on it as she ate it. And I think it's kind of like a southern thing, maybe a midwestern thing, I don't know. But uh, somebody told me to put salt on mango and it is absolutely delicious. I will tell you the other thing that's delicious on mango is tahini. So, all right, let's go into fresh time. Are you guys ready? All right, come shopping with me. All right, here we are at fresh time farmer's market. Doesn't it just look like an old school farmer's market? I love it. All right. I'm very excited about this. So right when you go in, they have like all these cute little flowers here. And then they have all different kinds of like super coffees and all the different iced coffees. Um, that Death Wish cold brew I reviewed on my channel one time. Lucky Jack cold brew. I might get a cold brew coffee today, we'll see. Love those aloes drinks. And they have energy drinks, all kinds of energy drinks. Tea. I used to drink this uh, Herba Mate, but I would make it at home. I would get it from uh, Whole Foods. Talk about have given you a lot of energy, my lord. And all kinds of waters. And then here is like a whole section of all their gluten-free options that they have. They have breads, gluten-free, pies, cakes, muffins, bagels. So this must be like all of their, oh, they have macaroons cakes. I am obsessed with this King's Hawaiian bread. I love it. So this is like their little like bread area and cookies and stuff. Football sugar cookies. What are those? Oh, they have little footballs on them and stuff. Those are cute. Your kids play football. They have blackberries and strawberries and 
onions, more flowers, fresh flowers. I love fresh flowers, don't you? Fresh flowers make me so happy. Stargazer lilies are actually my favorite flower. Those don't look very good though, do they? Those don't look very healthy. <gasps> hydrangeas, I love hydrangeas. Look at this little plant, oh my gosh. So then over here, they have all kinds of cookies. Now I'll tell you what I used to get all the time here. If they still have them, I'll show you. I haven't actually been here, it's been a little while. Let's see. No bake cookies, love them. Oh, they don't have the cookies that I used to get here. My husband comes here all the time and gets stuff for um, making salads. Oh, I think we can get rid of the Santa Claus cookies now. Those are, we're maybe done with those for the year. Uh, we have cakes. And here's their deli section of meat. Okay, I am obsessed with wasabi peas. Obsessed. And I have to tell you, I just got these not too long ago and reviewed them. Sriracha flavored peas are the bombarella. I love them. And then over here you can see there's all kinds of um, hummus, which is basically what I live on. These stone fire things are absolutely so delicious, but they're expensive. Like here you can see they're like, what are they, like $3.99 or something like that for the small amount. At Costco you can get like a box. These are like four times as big for a lot less. But I love those pita things with uh, hummus. And then there's all kinds of just hummus. And then dips, guacamole, chips. And then look at this, they have a whole sushi bar, a fresh sushi. Look at all of this. I wonder if they have any, oh, there's salads. These are all salads. Quinoa salad with honey mustard dressing. They have soups over here, hot soups. Uncle Teddy's Chunky Beef Chili. That looks good, I don't eat beef, but. Broccoli and cheese soup. Mystery soup. Then over here, this kind of stuff. This is all like new. Like I have, they haven't had this in here, like this little deli area since the last time that I was in here. Okay, they have different, oh look, roasted turkey and Havarti sandwich. Well, I don't eat meat, but that does sound good if you do eat meat. Roasted chicken in Munster, flying pig. I wish they had some vegetarian wraps. That's my only, my only thing. They don't. Can I just tell you, well, let me go around the other side. I am obsessed, obsessed with stuffed olives and blue cheese stuffed olives are my absolute favorite. Very expensive though. What is this little section over here? Convenient, delicious meals. Try me a new item. Mexican style street corn. Vegan Latin bowl. I've never heard of this. What is this? Caden's Kitchen. I might have to try some of this stuff and cook it for my, God, they're expensive. $8.99, my Lord. Oh, well, these two down here that I would eat are $5.99. <clears throat> yeah. Are there more on the other side? Oh, there are. Oh, a lemon risotto. Oh, that sounds good. There's, that's not bad. Four cheese mac and cheese. Gluten-free pasta with chicken. 
These are kind of cool. I don't understand these. Free for, freezer to fork in just minutes. I might have to try one of those. Then over here, they have all the soups, the Panera soups, pre-made stuff, fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Look at these different quiches. My mom loved quiche. Those do look good though, don't they? Cheddar and bake broccoli quiche. Potato salads. What's over here? Tri-colored Italian style rotini pasta. Mm. Smoked mozzarella pasta salad. Okay. So then over here is their seafood. I just think the store is so clean and nice, the way that they have it all organized. Look at this, fig and feta, chicken sausage, all those different kinds of stuff. They have a huge vegetarian section too, it's really cool. Which I'm about to show you. A spam call just came in and it stopped my video. Look at how fresh, they have all these grapes and stuff, but look at how fresh your vegetables are and how nicely organized they are. Isn't this beautiful? So pretty, isn't it? more there are lemons and limes and stuff beautiful pretty there are other apples over here I am just blown away by like how nice they have the whole store set up I think it's so nice star fruit all this stuff set up so nice and all their veggies like huge row down here. There's like all these people standing here, so I'm not gonna put it up. But then here they have all of their fresh juices. They have wine and spirits down there. They don't do all that. And then here they have all this fruit cut up salad mixings so this is where I used to come and get mango there's my mango slices all cut up so good and then every morning they make these fresh juices they used to have like a green juice oh here it is green juice they have all of those Tons of yogurt. And over here they have like every kind of like milk you would ever want in the entire world. Like all these like almond milks and all that kind of stuff. This guy's stacking stuff over here. Orange juice. And all kinds of veggie options kinds of more veggie options over here. I love this store. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, I like these. Clean canteen. And here they have all kinds of ice cream novelties. A lot of them, the organic, and then lactose free. A lot of them do soy. They have all kinds of stuff in here. It's very cool. 
Then over here, you can see they have teas. They have all kinds of teas here. And coffee. The only thing about this store is like, if you want to come here and get like a bag of Lay's potato chips, they're not going to have it. Here's a bunch of like gluten-free stuff. So like if you are, what is this? Is this beer? If you're wanting to come here and yeah, and get like, oh, maybe not. Maybe they did change it a little bit because they used to not even have soda. They wouldn't even have this kind of like soda. So maybe they've changed it a little bit. Here they have like that Zevia. My friend Valerie loves that stuff. But here are like your potato chip items. And this is this is it. Oh my god, smoked Gouda gourmet popcorn. All kinds of frozen meals, entrees. It says in here, entrees, snacking, pizzas. You can see they have like the plant-based beefy potato. These are like, uh, you know, what do you call them though? Chicken pot pie kind of things, but all these are plant-based stuff. Oh, they do have Tostitos here and stuff. Oh my God, they do have potato chips. They've like actually, they've got stuff now that they didn't have before. Oh my God, Alex is gonna die. Cause they do have like Lay's and, cause whenever you would come here before they didn't have that stuff. So if you wanted just like a bag of Lay's, which right there, you couldn't get it, you know? They are up in their game. Oh my God. And my husband's favorite, my husband's favorite right here, Oreo double stuff. <laughs> Golden Oreos double stuff. That's his favorite. Animal crackers. Then down here, oh, look at all these cool straws that they have. So they also have that you can buy like all of this candy by the that way. All this candy over here. And then they have nuts <clears throat> over here. You can see. Buying in bulk just makes sense, it says. And over here they have more. What is this? I wanted to see what this was. Joyba? bubble tea. Let's get the bubble in the bottom. I might have to do a review of that. Through here they've got all the everything else that you would want to get from here. You know, like spaghetti sauce, all that kind of stuff. Look at all of these granola bars that they have. Just tons and tons and tons. Now, I have to show you what I think is like so cool about this store. They have all this health stuff like protein powders and stuff. They didn't used to have all this stuff either. Like all these cleaning supplies, this used to all be protein powders. They've like changed all this stuff in here completely. Candles. They have like changed tons of this, you guys. I'm blown away. They must have done this so that more people will come. But most of these like soaps and stuff that you see are like, like Indian hemp and Haitian vetiver. I wonder if that smells good. No, not really. Mango butter. Ooh, that smells good. Honey and black seed. Oh, that's really nice. They have all this. A lot of vegan, like, makeup and skincare products and stuff. Where are all their protein powders and stuff? They must still have them because here they are right here. I personally think this Tom's products, I think they suck. <laughs> and I think all natural <laughs> toothpaste does not work very well. And then anyway, you got all your vitamins and stuff here. Protein powders, but they have like, they had tons and tons of protein powders before. So you can see like all the vitamins they have. Huh. I wonder where they got, oh, these ear candles. I've always wanted to do these things. 
but I'm scared of them. Why did they, oh. No, they did. They got rid of tons of their protein powder. Huh, very, very interesting. They literally used to have like rows and rows of plant protein. I mean, they have it still, but. Internal cleansing, weight loss and diet support, digestive support, probiotics, mega oils. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna get something and get out of here and then I will. Here, I'm gonna show you overall what the whole store looks like first. Oh, this is the one thing I did wanna show you. So they have like really cool cards and stuff here. And they used to have little, oh, here it is. I used to buy people these for presents. They have these that are like made from recycled stuff. 98, 5% recycled material, not cute. And I would buy these for friends for always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. They have little wallets and stuff. Oh, here they are. Here are the little wallets and stuff that I buy for people. I'm how, having an out of money experience. But aren't these so cute? Cute. You're double wonderful. Love this stuff. All right, let me show you what the whole store looks like. Come around here and you can see it's like huge. See? All right, well, I will be out in my car in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Did you guys have fun? going through the store with me. I have to tell you, I'm really, really glad that I went in there because I usually um, go to just like a typical grocery store like the Meyer or something like that because Alex will ask me to get things or I'll need to get things that you can't get at fresh time because for so long they just had like all Whole Foods stuff or whatever, which is great, but a lot of those options are real expensive or not what he wanted, you know, or what I wanted. So anyway, I'm really glad that they have all kinds of things now there because it's super close close to our house, it's closer than any other grocery store, first of all. Second of all, um, now I know I can, you know, get whatever I want to get there. All right. So the first thing that I bought was this deep clean cold pressed juice, cucumber or pineapple, cucumber, spinach, lime, and kale. Five servings of fruits and vegetables per bottle. Um, never heard of this before. It's 86 calories per uh, serving, so I got that. And it says, at Healthy Roots, we never compromise. We deliver the finest quality and flavor by sourcing and the freshest fruits and vegetables and cold pressing in small batches. So I got that. And then I also got this cold brew from Austin, Texas. It is called High Cold Brew High Brew Coffee. And I got Mexican um, vanilla. And it has 90 calories and 140 I don't know, things of caffeine. I don't know if that, is that a lot? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So anyway, but I had a good time today. So thank you for coming. Um, oh, I need to put this stuff back in here. Thank you for coming shopping with me. And um, if there are other places that you guys would like to see me um, shop and comment on what I think of the store, let me know. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.